It's Thursday night and it's time to have a throwback on all the business and personal finance news for the day here on Money Time at Money 9 English. I'm Ajay and let's begin. We first go to the Dalal Street to make some money. Asia's oldest stock exchange, BSC, has announced a buyback at an issue price of 816 rupees per share. The exchange has not announced a record date yet. On Thursday, the company's stock price closed 4% higher at 705 rupees per share. Buyback price is at nearly 16% premium than Thursday's closing price. If investors buy shares of BSC before record date and participate in the buyback, then they stand a chance to generate profit on investment. Buyback impacts the cash reserves of companies. It also reduces the number of outstanding shares of a company. The group of ministers on online gaming, horse racing and casinos had a broad agreement that a 28% GST should be levied but a consensus eluded on taxability of online games. Goa suggested an 18% tax on platform fees. Currently, the government levies 18% GST on online gaming. The government is pondering on classifying online games into two categories. First is game of skill and the second is game of chance or luck. The government will likely increase GST on Game of Chance to 28%. Industry experts have requested government to at least keep GST unchanged at 18% on Game of Scale. Up next, Punjab National Bank has issued a revised locker agreement incorporating customers' rights. It has asked its customers to contact their locker holding branch and execute the revised agreement as applicable. RBI has instructed banks to comply with the revised locker facility guidelines. According to FADA President Manish Raj Singhania, in June 2023, electric two-wheeler sales plunged by more than half on a month-to-month -month basis. This is attributed to the rollback of subsidies given by the government to consumers on electric two-wheeler purchase. Such a sharp plunge may force the government to think again on its decision. It has also hampered overall sales of two-wheelers in the country. Even in June, two-wheeler sales has plunged 12%, just above the 13 lakh unit mark. This will also hamper earnings of two-wheeler companies. And now it's time to shift our focus towards technology. Chinese smartphone manufacturer Realme has launched the latest series of smartphones. The new series of smartphones come with high storage space. There are two variants, Realme Narzo 60 5G and Realme Narzo 60 Pro 5G. The price of the base variant starts from 17,999 rupees. The higher variant, which is the Pro version, has a storage space of up to 1 terabyte. The price of one with 1 TB storage space is priced at 29,999 rupees. Both the Pro version and the general version have 16 megapixel front camera, 5000 mAh battery, and run on Realme UI 4.0, which is based on Android 13. Other specifications vary in these two versions. Customers can pre book the models now. The sales will kick off from July 15, 2023. Up next, Prabhudas Liladar is bullish on a reality stock. The stock is SunTech Reality. According to the brokerage, stock's chart looks attractive. RSI looks well placed. The brokerage has given an upside target of 340 rupees at a stop loss of 280 rupees. The brokerage sees 21% upside potential in the stock from the current levels. On Thursday, SunTech Reality closed 5% higher at 298 rupees on the BSC. It's time now to look at stock recommendations. Geojit Financial Services Senior Vice President Gaurang Shah is bullish on Canra Bank and Tata Power. Shah has given a target price of 400 rupees on Canra Bank in the long term. Investors can buy the stock around the 325 rupee mark. Shah's second recommendation is Tata Power. He has given it a target price of 280 rupees on the stock. According to him, investors can buy Tata Power around the 227 rupee mark. The market capitalization of BSE listed firms hit a lifetime peak of 301.1 lakh crore rupees in morning trade on Thursday, driven by a positive trend in domestic equities. The 30 share BSE Sensex jumped 185 points or 0.28% to 65,631 point. 4.1 points in morning deals. Tracking rally in equities, the market capitalization of BSE listed firms reached an all-time peak of 301 lakh crore rupees. The BSE benchmark had jumped over 2,500 points in its record rally from June 26 to July 4. 
Up next, retail inflation is likely to have remained flat at 4.26% in June compared to May. British brokerage Barclays has said this despite soaring vegetable prices and steady fuel prices. The food and fuel baskets constitute almost 60% of the consumer price index. In a note on Wednesday, Barclays India economist said that retail inflation was likely flat in June compared to 4.25% in May even though food prices have been trending higher and broadly stable energy costs and steady core inflation. And SEBI brings proposal to make it mandatory for FPIs to have at least 10% trade in corporate bonds. Any further decision on this matter will be taken by the regulator after July 26, 2023, making it mandatory for FPIs for trading corporate bonds, which will deepen India's debt market. It will also encourage retail investors' participation in the industry, bringing it more liquidity in the debt market. It will also help companies in India to easily raise cash and meet financial needs. That's it for today here on Money Time and Money Nine English. Download the Money Nine app and stay tuned to Money Nine English's YouTube channel. Also check out www.money9.com. This is me, Ajay, signing off. Take care and good night.